Hello, we got sound now? Let me check my audio. Audio, 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 audio. Sound. Okay, so let's start over. <clears throat> Rewind. What's happening, Scribe? Good morning. Big face trucker. What's going on? Big Reg Rex, what's happening? Scott. James, what's going on? Ismail, what's happening? Thanks for uh, helping the channel out. George Washington Bridge, what are you doing there, big face? Are you over there trying to get that big East Coast money? And I said, check out that logo back there, big face. What do you think of that? James, almost. One, 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 one. There you go. <clears throat> Play that four-digit number. Play it. Finally, he says lots of laughs. James, you didn't even watch the first 30 minutes or two minutes. Because <clears throat> you're sitting there <clears throat> in your home studio, <clears throat> fixing things up, doing it all, all that good stuff. GNC family, what's happening? I like the Chucky doll. What's up, Jay? Xavier, what's happening? Glenn, what's happening? Daryl, what's happening? Yes, this moment of silence is brought to you by your local library. There you go. I did it again. Gave you some silence. Bench truck and what's happening? All right, so let's take a look, man. Let's share it. Boom. Van. That's van, of course. But there's the van map. Looking great, isn't it? It, we even picked up a couple reds, went to yellows. Oh, it's just looking beautiful. <clears throat> beautiful. And guess what? It's going into October. So for all you naysayers out there, <clears throat> you know, the uh, anybody watch that debate last night? That YouTube battle royal on the political scene? You know, the Trump, the Biden it's like it's like it's like Trump throwing haymakers, right? Oh, Biden didn't know what to do. Then he started, you know, um, stuttering there a little bit. That lost his words. I think his earpiece fell out. I think he had an earpiece in and it fell out, and he didn't know what to say or something. Unbelievable. <clears throat> it was. I mean, it was fun to watch, right? Uh, just loaded headed to Illinois, he says right here. Glenn says that. RD, what's happening, RD? I watched your your show there um, last night you put up. That was that was good. Uh, Glenn says some couldn't take <laughs> couldn't take Sleepy Joe. <clears throat> it was a it was a train wreck, man. Um, couldn't answer the questions, right? 
And of course, he didn't want to say anything and mess up his support, his supporters, you know. Uh, moderator, and it really wasn't a moderator. It was like a referee in a boxing match, you know, got between the, the contendants and uh, got knocked out of the <laughs> out of the forum. Uh, Salem Transit, what's happening? Finally got in. Hey, Big Al, you know, congratulate Al on, on his, uh, his uh, new addition to the family. But, you know, Al, you know, here's the thing about Kenworth, Peterbilt. You know, people are going to get mad. Turn, turn down your volume. Here, let's go back to mute. All right, and I'll just go like this. Um, man, I don't know if they know how to fix trucks, especially when it comes to the EF systems. I, I think they're lost in their own, in their own uh, manufacturing of the product. Because, boy, it sure seems like when they go in for that that problem, it takes six or seven or eight times in the shop to figure out what it is. And, you know, eventually what they do is they just replace everything. Unbelievably disrespectful to the president of the U.S. That, that's that's true. I mean, <clears throat> that how how can Biden expect respect when he didn't respect in the first place? Right. Um that's the thing. And, you know, they said that, the you know, they had this, he came into a great economy and all that. Uh, no. I like how they like to switch numbers around, all that good stuff. Um, but anyway, we won't talk politics. Light off again. You know, maybe, maybe, you know, when you, <clears throat> Here's how you fix the Kenworth. Here's how you fix the Kenworth. Light problems. I mean, if Snorlord was up in here, you know, he's got lights on all the time. The way you fix Kenworth is you take a piece of black tape, electrical tape, and you put it over the light on the dash. Or you go up underneath there and just unplug it. Unplug the light. Then you'll never have the light, right? Because most most of them have a light on all the time. George Washington Bridge noticed the new wire rope cable tension construction. Good morning, uh, John. What's happening? How's your uh, corn binder running? Oh, you take a peat in two days before they work on it. They are using those two days to look up on YouTube how to fix it, I think. <laughs> All right, Dave. That's awesome, man. Uh, let's go to YouTube and figure out how to fix stuff. Uh but, it, you know, YouTube is helpful. I mean, you can watch the backyard mechanics, <clears throat> you know, mess up, you know, not what not to do in a lot of things. And then some of them have really good uh, fixing, right? You can actually learn something on how to fix something. It just depends on who you're watching, right? Uh, yeah, so two days, they can look it up uh, or they can call their buddies and they, they can all stand around it and charge you by the hour for the, uh, you know, Analysis. The corn binder runs like a champ. And Al, Al don't fall out of the truck. Don't laugh too hard, man. Uh, let's see what's going on. Well, here, here is the map. Hey, Danny Luke, YouTube helps me fix my dryer. Yeah, well, YouTube helps fix a lot of things. Like <clears throat> we have a, uh, a Samsung stove. And you call Samsung up. And they don't know who to send out here. You know, it's supposed to be under warranty. So this is how the warranty went. Call them up. Okay, we're going to have this repair facility come out. Call them. They, you know, they schedule for, let's say, a week later. So I call them. Can't get nobody to answer. Finally, after a day and a half of calling, someone answers the phone. I say, hey, you're going to come out and fix my stove uh, next week. And they says, well, we don't work on Samsung's anymore. Well, they said, you know, that's who they gave me. You said, they said they got an appointment. No, nope, it's not us. We don't do it no more. Call Samsung back. Oh, well, we didn't know that. Well, I thought you said we had an appointment. So then they give us somebody else. So I go on YouTube, look it up. Oh, so I, I get online. I order the part. 
Parts down in Detroit comes next day. Part was 10 bucks. Put it in. Guess what? It didn't work. But as I took it apart, I follow all the wires and find out there's two temperature sensors in that stove. So I ordered another part, another 10 bucks. Get it done. It's like three days. Still haven't heard from the new people coming to, to fix it. Three months later, still haven't heard from the people. A year later, still haven't heard from the people. So long story short, I'd still be waiting a year over a year to get the stove fixed, which was 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. Done it myself. All right. Anyway. What's up, Shadow Wolf? Boom, 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 boom. Thumbs up, thumbs up. And Shadow Wolf knows even like an RV world, right? You go buy a camper, motorhome, fifth wheel, travel trip. It doesn't matter what you want to call them. doesn't matter what you get. You're going to fix it yourself. The warranty. Yeah, they give you a warranty. But if you want to have it sitting there for six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 months or whatever to get fixed, because that's how long it's going to take them for the warranty. Go buy the part yourself for five or 10 bucks or 50 bucks, whatever the part is. Fix it yourself in about an hour and camp on. Shadow Wolf can agree with that. YouTube fixed my old F256.0 uh, alternator. Good morning, Light Bright. What's up, bro? Salem Transit says, coming at you. What's up, my brother? At Big Face. Hey, Al's passing you, big face. <clears throat> what do you think of that? Shoot, let's let's just invite people in here. Right, let me shorten this down here. Invite. If you want to join the show today, we haven't even went to the how you know what this what the spot market's doing. There it is. Um, Let's not go there on that. RVs are a different world. That's right. RVs are a different world. Um, kind of like some truck manufacturers in this in the trucking world. But RVers got all the all the time, you know, all the time in the world to fix them. I mean, what else are you going to do? You're out there camping, you know, give you something to do. Like here's what I did the other day, Shadow Wolf. So uh, RV's been sitting almost three weeks at this campground. Uh, of course, we're gonna we're running out of propane because, you know, it's 30 something degrees for the whole week at night. Plus, you know, we got hot water on demand. So it uses as propane. So we're down to critical low levels. Now, do we want to break down? And this goes for anybody. Do you want to break down camp? Do all that work, drive somewhere, get propane, come back. Uh, that's what you have to do, you know, in a motorhome world. So no. So what you do is you buy the, I bought the Sturgis valve. They call it, they, that's what they call it. Uh, or they'll call it extended stay, extended stay kit. So what it is, it's a valve, a four position valve, and it allows you to go to your tank unhook it and we're going to put this valve in between your on and off valve of the tank to the regulator and on that valve you're going to have two other ports one if you want to hook up a uh, grill or whatever which is already hooked up anyway ran into uh, mine anyway so the other one is for an external propane tank like you know you hook up your grill 20 pounder or whatever so I went and bought one, put it on, took me two minutes, right? Because all you're doing is unscrewing the thread, pop it off, put it on. And then you can either, hopefully, you got a good one that's American made. This one's American made. Hopefully, you know, if you get the China brand, you might want to use some pipe dope, things like that. But it's a good deal. Anyway, if you're not going to take it off, you know, get yourself some gas line um, dope. Don't use the tape because it doesn't really harden or nothing. Just put a little bit around the threads, screw it on. You won't have a leak to begin with. Um, so that's what I did. So now if we run out of propane in the main tank, we can just grab a grill, you know, one or two grill tanks up and sit out there and doesn't make no difference. All right. So I think I'm going to start doing my YouTubes on and about RVing. Don't have any content for trucking. YouTube, 100, 100. All right, Shadow Wolf. Yeah, you do. You still have a truck. 
K Dog says, where the money at? We're going to get there. Cascade says, you should have had the dean do it for you. Yeah, Cascade, the dean. Hey, I'm not going to have the dean wrench on anything. I got to wrench on the dean stuff. So, dean, if you're watching, because we know you're going out west. It's a big Cali. So, you know what? Come on over. If you want lights put on your big W900, come on over. We'll put those light bars on right underneath. Uh, shine them on that chrome, right? We'll, we'll install some lights for you. Do all that stuff. Just come on over to the Light Trucking Corp shop. Pull barn out back. We'll do it for nothing. Just show up with the parts. I got all the tools, man. We'll wrench on that W900. I already had to fix your stacks, but we're not going there. We're not going to say nothing about that. All right, Jeff, that's why I have a road trek always on the move. Easy stuff. There you go. Yeah, so I could, you know, that's why that's why I said, Shadow, if I could have, it's it's not hard to undo it. That's why I got the motorhome instead of a, a fifth wheel and all that, because that's pain moving that stuff around and taking them down. You just more of you just hit the buttons, the slides come in, hit the leveling valves, boom, hydraulics pull them down, boom, start it up and go. You know, you just do a couple of connections. You know what it took me about five minutes to unhook everything and roll on out of there. But problem is why roll if you don't have to? And the valve wasn't that expensive. Um, now I don't have to do any of that stuff. Facebook. Uh, Tom Petty says waiting is the hardest part. You better learn to drive that truck yourself. Ain't no money going to save you. Uh, I've heard pals stay warm and set fires. And <laughs> that's funny. Um, Donnie Luke says, this may have been covered previously, but do you think the rates will hope in top, hope in, well, will stay into the Q1 possibly beyond? Yes, that's what I think they will. Uh, you know, other people that leave messages, one of them has a, a car name in their name. Oh, yeah, the rates are, you know, it's not going to last. It's supposed to end last month, but no, it's going to move on. Supply, demand. Look at the capacity and the uh, the freight volume. And you can see it right here. I mean, look at this map. You can see it. Um, one more and we'll get on to the money. Ivy is in Wyoming, Michigan. Yesterday, man, got cold at the receiver. Had to get out. Why didn't you, why didn't you call me up, Shadow Wolf? I'm only a couple hours away. You know, I could have came over to Wyoming, Michigan, took you out to dinner, you know. Bought you steak, fed, you know, got your steak and everything, chatted for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Should have called me up. Uh, what's going on? All right, so let's rock and roll. Come over here, hit find loads. We're in Michigan. Let's look and see what we got. Any type of trailer, boom, we're going to get off of this. Uh, We'll click on flat. Do we want to do all three trailers? Let's do all three trailers. Three trailers. Here we go. We'll look at rate per mile. Boom. Here we are. Three fifty. You know, these are short loads. We'll get it higher into the money. Like this one here. Flatbed. Waterloo, Indiana to Kokomo, Indiana. 800 bucks. 714 a mile for 112 miles. More flatbed. And of course, we're going to have huge amounts of flatbed. Uh, we'll get down here to the reefer. 608 a mile, 181 miles, $1,100. Coloma, Michigan. Right by. Right by you, Shadow Wolf. Right there, baby. Going to Pendleton, Indiana. 181 miles, 1100 bucks. Or there's another one. Here's a flat. Here's another reefer. Taylor, Michigan, Cleveland, Ohio, 158 miles, 950. Here's a van load. Kalamazoo, Indiana, Auburn, Indiana. Kalamazoo, Michigan, Auburn, Indiana, 594, 600 bucks, 101 miles. And you can see the, the money just flowing. Here's a good flatbed load here in McBain, Michigan, at Delta, Ohio, 1229, 556 on 221. Got to rock. Get to Atlanta before dinner. Have a good one. Be safe. May the Lord bless you. 
be safe. May the Lord, the Lord bless you and listen, Shadow Wolf. You get down to her, the hot Atlanta down there. Call up Big Face Trucker. He'll take you out for dinner. Big Face Trucker or call up Salem Transit, right? Yeah. Hey, two great guys. I'm sure they'll treat you to a nice dinner. Call them up. Or call up Thor the, and Thunder Trucking, right? He lives down there too by Hotlanta. Call him up. He'll take you out for a nice dinner. Why not? Uh, them water loads are nice, quick loading almost every time. Uh, there you go. Tommy Z, could you please explain a little bit more about the two-year warranty is coming? Well, as long as you got the System One confidence and all that, or this, they cover everything. I mean, what's there? What's to, there to explain? If you get them with the DEF, it covers all of it. If they give you the best warranty they have, it gives you, you know, all of it. Now I'll put it up on the screen here in a minute. Um, here we go. Uh, Facebook user says, them Hoosiers got all the pence stolen money. Tommy, just got one of those great warranties. Covers even the emissions. That's right, John. It covers everything. I mean, you take that to a dealer like mine. I took it in. The DEF harness went, went bad. It didn't cost me a dime. They fixed it. I went there and says, um, how much are you? I said, nothing. Here's your keys. Leave. Um and everybody else, when, when the after treatment went bad on, on a couple of trucks, they had the old versions, $8,000 bills, nothing. Cost them nothing. All it costs you is the, the time they have in the shop, and that's with any repair. All right. Let's roll. $3,700. Shadow Wolf, check it out, baby. $3,700. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Right by Wyoming, Michigan. Allentown, PA, 692, 3,700. I know you're on that run. Come on now. Don't go to Atlanta. Go to Allentown, PA for 3,700. Because I know you're not getting 3,700 to Atlanta. Uh, another flatbed load here. Flat, flat, reefer, reefer. Reefer, reefer, reefer. Here's a van load coming up. Boom, 2,600. Lime, Ohio, chop, take, transport, 481 a mile, 540 on the miles. Man, you can't beat it. Can't beat this, right? I mean, it's it's a little bit below, but you know if you ask for $109.05, you're going to get that two-week average. You know it. You know it. Uh, here's a flatbed load here. That's that's slightly above the two-week average. Here's a reefer load. Some, you know, short, short miles. Now, people also want to see this. Go up here on this short buy, hit highest rate per mile. Highest post rate, and bam, here you go. 4,600 to Louisiana, reefer. 4,500 down to Miami, van or a reefer. 4,300 out to Washington, dollar 80 miles, 10 cents above the two week average. And you scroll on down. Reefer, 3,650 to Quaker Town, not a Traverse City. Flat at 289 a mile, 3,600, 366 right here. Reefer, Georgia. There's your load to Georgia. Adele, Georgia out of Hudsonville, Michigan, right by Wyoming. Not too far away there, Shadow Wolf. 3,600, 366 a mile, 984. There you go. Rock and roll on it. And you can see the money going on down. Now, let's change this. New search. Uh, let's go to Carlsbad, California. Home of Thunder Funny right back there. The greatest people in the funding industry can't get better folks than what's that Thunder funding. Same thing with one, two, three load board. Boom. There you go. If you want to use these guys and gals over at Thunder funding, call those two gentlemen right there. Tell them bigger, greater network sent you. You will get a good deal. And, Anybody that answers the phone can help you out. Uh, Cameron, how do we gain access to the program you are using? Is that a certain load board? Yes, it's one, two, three load board. Now, nowhere else. You're going to get a load board for $35, premium plus. Use that code. You get everything you see, 
all these features for $35. Uh, and we'll show you. There's John chiming in. Gas case is the Washington Lotus for the Dean. We will show that here in a minute. Um, and we'll show you all the great stuff you get with this board for that $35. Now, on this new search, what we're going to do is we are going to go to Carlsbad van trailer. We're going to see these loads on the van trailer. Here we go. 4,500 coyote. $450 a mile for 10 miles. There you go. It's got to be a, you know, they probably, maybe they added a zero. Who knows? 600 bucks, 26 miles. So, you know, he can just run in the LA base. <clears throat> $550, $555. Now, what the Dean is going to want to do, because, you know, when the Sandman comes out, he's, the Dean's going to need all of this. Um, I did plug the one, two, three load board. Right? Lauren and the gang, one, two, three load board. Can't get, you know, those are great folks also, just like Thunder Funded. Great group of people. One, two, three load board. They always are innovative. You're not going to find one that's better than this when it comes to mobile apps always being updated. The website, different things. You got the card view. Yeah, if you don't like the card view, you like a list view, boom, they've done it for you. You don't like the list view, you want a map view, map view boom, they've done that for you also. Uh, I like the card view. That's why I show it. Then you can sort it. But $9,000, the Dean. Where are you, Dean? Marino Valley, California, Upper Marlboro, Maryland. You should get out there. Nine grand to come back to Maryland. Three thirty nine a mile. And look, rate check. This is the features they give you. One, they give you a profit calculator right here. Start at the top. You could put your miles there. That's 339 miles. There it is. Here's your estimated fuel cost. If you get seven and a half miles a gallon. If you don't, guess what? If you only get <clears throat> W900 miles per gallon, 4.5, you can see that, you know, the cost of fuel goes up. If you're getting five miles a gallon, there you go. Five miles a gallon, 1695 is what it's going to cost you. Um, but let's say you get 7.5 and additional cost. If you're paying a 20%, you're going to make 6,069 at 228 a mile. If you're at Landstar using their trailer, it's 47.19, $1.78. Now, if you're at some other company and they say, oh, well, we're paying 85%, 15, but if you have fees, let's say this takes you a week and you have weekly fees of $500, then you know it's 6,019 or 227 a mile. Now, you see that 227, 6,019. If you take that fee away, 228 a mile, 60, 69. So 20% is better than one with all the fees at 85. That's how you can check, right? That's how you can check. So there's 302. Another $9,000 load of PA, $8,800 to there. New York, Iowa, $8,000 to Iowa. Dean, where are you, Dean? Well, look at this great money coming back. Finley, Ohio, seven grand to come back to Finley. 309. There you go, Cascade. Tell him. Um, he's all over it. 4.8 miles per gallon. That's what he says the Dean gets. Don't let him hear you say that. Hey, 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 says big tech trucking. Tommy Z. Uh, he wants to know what kind of truck you got there, John. Great rates on the liberal coast. Well, you can thank, you know, you know who you can thank for that. Trump. Manufacturing's rolling. And all the stuff is coming off of the ships finally. They finally got there in the ports. Right? They're in the warehouses. They need to ship the stuff back across the United States. So look at all this money. I mean, it's it's good. It, it's just good stuff. And it's not going to go anywhere soon. Do you think it's just going to stop tomorrow? Because it's October. October 1st, boom, breaks hit. Everything goes in half. No, it doesn't work that way. He got a 
Pro Star 2016. So how's the uh, the vacation going there, uh, Cascade? Do you want to join in? There you go. But you probably have no internets where you're at. It's only got 336,000 miles on that 29 grand. You can't get hurt with that truck. You get, you get a two-year warranty, 29 grand. How are you going to get hurt when it covers everything? Everything, motor and emissions. Yes, doesn't cover the you know your drive, your axles and things like that. But a lot of them don't. You know, a lot of the aftermarket don't. They're just covering the engine. Um, and if you get those aftermarket uh, warranties that cover engine and DAP, it usually doesn't cover much. And it's only like for a year. This is two years factory. You got to get a factory warranty. Uh, let's see what else. And, you know, you buy a used truck without a warranty, you're rolling the dice. I mean, it's a big, big gamble. Big gamble. So if you buy a used truck, has no warranty, you better have a big bankroll. Or you better have a big credit line. One of the two. Right? That's why OTJB talks about credit lines. Got to have good credit lines. And if you're in business, you got to have it. Just can't always run out of cash. Because you could run out of cash. Um, so you need a big credit line to back that. And sometimes it's cheaper to use a credit line than it is to use cash. Because if, if you get 0% or very, very, very low interest rate, uh, your cash can make more for you than what the credit line charges. But that's another story when you look into financials. You got an N13 after the uh, 2015 engine fix. Um, that's right. Let's see what else we got. So that's California. Look at all that money. All right, so let's roll out of California and uh, let's go all the way back across coast to the Italian Stallion area. Let me tell you something. Tell you something, Sam, man. Italian Stallion's going to put it to you. He's already said it. You've seen it. I mean, these guys are gunning for you. Italian Stallion and the Dean are gunning for you, Sam, man. We already seen what they sent you. You know, people seen those, those little gifts they're sending you. Whew, they're on you afraid of you. That's what it is. They're afraid. <laughs> They're afraid when you come back out here. Um, what's this? Just finance everything. Don't worry. Be like to yeah, whatever that is or, or whatever. Uh, and your trailer's in Michigan. Well, good. Come and get it. All right. So let's look. Trenton, New Jersey, 1,543 loads. And let's look what the short game's doing. Let's look what the short game's doing. 700 bucks, two minutes ago. Curse transmission. And this load board updates automatically. Boom. Uh, you don't have to pay extra for it. They give it to you. 700 bucks, 33 miles. 21, 21 a mile. There it is, 9,300 pounds. Edge Logistics, 900 bucks for 61 miles. $1,200 SRAM Logistics, 89 miles. I told you, MT Fuel Corp. Trevino Trucking. Told you. 100 miles. Better be asking for 1,000 plus over there on the East Coast. <clears throat> Another one, 1333, 1,200 bucks. 90 miles. 650 for 49. 3,000 for 242 miles. Coyote Logistics, Bellport, New York. Two, Elizabethtown, PA. Drop it, consignee. I'd drop it, consignee. Try it back home. Go back and get it when your trailer's done. Empty fuel court. You could probably get 3500 out of that. We ought to call them. We ought to call them and tell them. Let's call them and tell them. Let's call him and tell him. Hello, Trevino 
Trucking can yeah. help you. Yes, you're live on YouTube, Trevino Trucking. Um, this is your dispatch calling you on a load on a Bellport, New York. You know that's that? I do, I do. Yes, and I really appreciate that dispatch, but I'm going to have to reject the load. Um, I'm going to a lollipop convention, and uh, it's really important that I can't take that load. Do you know what the load is? I don't care. It's, it's Bellport, New York to Elizabethtown, PA, 7,000 pounds, picks up today, 242 miles. You leave your trailer to consignee, $3,000. Come on. I'm live on your tubes right now. I got it up. $3,000. Really? Yeah, and it's Coyote, it? Coyote Logistics. You might get them to go to 3,500, then you just bobtail what back logistics? home. Logistics? Coyote. Coyote. I'm, I'm all set up with Coyote, too. I, the problem is, is I'm on 95 in New England right now. I'm not anywhere near Bellport. What's the latest I can pick that thing up? I don't know. Call them and ask them. I can't. I can't. I got to get this load off first. Oh. But I really appreciate you looking out for me. Uh, it, that's in your backyard, is it not? It's in my backyard. Yeah. Ten four, see, driver. see, and I, I call other trucking companies that belong to the Big Rig Radio Network and say, hey, look, there's great load right by your house. You'd do it if you're I, home, right? Uh, listen, if I, I would have. You know what I would have done? That would have got you out of the house, right? Well, I'm out of the house. I'm on my way to Waterbury, Connecticut with a load right now. But it would have got you out of the house. Oh, yeah. Kidding me? You know, it would have got me. Listen, I would have opened the back doors of this thing, slammed on the brakes, let all the fruit fall out all over the road, and then go to Bellport and take that one. Well, Big Face Trucker's in New York, I think. Why don't you get that Big Face? There it is. Right up on the board. Where is Big Face? He's in New York. He yes, says he man. says he's calling now. New York's a big state. Big Face, look, you got to drop the trailer probably for twenty four hours. Tell him thirty five hundred. Thirty five hours. Twenty four. Let's see. What's the name of that town? Uh, Elizabeth Town, PA. Oh, Elizabeth. Yeah, sometimes they're twenty four to forty eight hours. Right. They so drop the trailer. Add That's another five hundred dollars, man. Tell them thirty five hundred, and you'll get it. Take it off their hands. Thirty five hundred. Yeah. Just a bunch of money up over there in the East Coast. Look at the money. Just flow. All right, all right, all right. Well, listen, what's in Waterbury? That's where I'm going. You're going to Waterbury, Waterbury. Connecticut? Yep. I'm going to be, I gotta, I'll got. i be there by 1 p.m. to get unloaded. So I'll be unloaded after 1 p.m. in Waterbury. Waterbury, Connecticut Waterbury. for a van for what, today, or today and tomorrow? Yeah, I would like today because I have plenty of hours on the clock. All right. There's 609 loads within 150 miles. Want me, want me to shorten that down? Yeah, shorten it down to like 65 miles. I'll go to 50. All right, 50, even better. 49 you know loads. Me, I don't like the deadhead. All right. Newington, Connecticut. Two. Newington. Yeah. Down, Downingtown, PA, 228 miles, 900 bucks. Uh, wow. How many miles? 228. Yeah, you probably get them. You get them up a little bit on that, too. Yep. Here's, let me see. Let me scroll down here. That's your best load out of there. Right. Except you've come down to the bottom part of this. Uh, you could probably find something even better because they're not putting the prices on there. Um, right. Yeah. So they got a Meridian, Connecticut to Tewksbury, Mass. That's close. That's not that far. Yeah, it's 125 mile run. All States yep. Transport has that. Uh, How much? No price? What about this? What about uh, <clears throat> here's a new Newington, Connecticut to Selkirk, New York, but that's not the New York where you live. You live. Oh, here you go. Hartford, Connecticut. Picks up tomorrow going to Staten Island. Water bottles. Yep. 45,000 pounds. 45, yep. Yeah, those are water bottles out of Bloomfield, Connecticut. Hartford going to West Nyack, New York. Yep, that's, that's on the way back home. Yep. Again, water bottles. Yep. There you go. So you got some stuff right there by where you're at. Yeah. Here's a DSV Road's got a Lee Mass today to Millville, New Jersey. Lee Mass is about what, 100 miles? 53. 53. 53 to Lee Mass? Yep. I think that's limestone, bagged limestone. I did one of those runs before. Yeah, but it is stone. Exactly. It says right there, stone. It? Stone. Stone, yeah, it's limestone. There's a big lime, qu there's a quarry up there or some crap. And, um, it's heavy, but it's, 
I, I mean, you go, you go to New Milford, Texas, to Manchester, New Hampshire. How much? I don't know. They don't have a price on it. You know what a broker did to me yesterday? What? Uh, you tell me if I'm, if I'm wrong. Okay. Guy, um, I'm, I'm looking at return loads, right? For this one. Figuring, you know, let's see if there's something coming back. It makes sense. You know, I don't like to book. I, I usually don't like to book something, another load, until I'm completely empty. Or at least if I have about five or six hours window, like, extra space. Like, I don't want to be under stress. You know, I don't want to be stressed out if I get delayed on uh, getting unloaded and then I got to call the broker that I'm supposed to pick up and say, oh, I'm not unloaded. I feel, you know, I don't want to operate like that. So, but if there's time in between loads, I'll book it. But if there's not, I'll just wait till I'm empty. Anyways, I call this load. It was a little short load. It was, um, I, I won't mention a broker, but big, big company. Okay. Call on a, um, on the load. It's a shorty. It's like going 25 miles. It's 13 miles from where I'm dropping off, right? And it's a shorty, 25 miles. I just, I didn't call. I shot the guy an email. I said, hey, um, tell me about that load. What's it paying? So figuring I'll get unloaded. I'll get reloaded and maybe, you know, do a little shorty. And I just quick 400 bucks, right? So, so he sends me back 400 bucks. So then he calls me. I didn't accept the load. And he calls me. And I go, listen, here's the deal. I said, I'm going to be 13 miles away from it tomorrow. When I got unloaded, I said, if it all goes well, I said, I'll call you back and, uh, you know, maybe I'll take the loan. He goes, all right, no problem. There's some flexibility in the pick. He said, he goes, uh, straight through, pick and run, blah, blah, blah. And I said, uh, I said, all right, we'll talk in the morning. What does he do? He signs me the loan. <laughs> I get two emails, right? On, right. On the app. The app's got me assigned to the load. They want me to assign a driver. And I get the rate card in an email. So I email him right back and I go, listen, I didn't accept this load. And um, right away I get that. I'm out of the office until tomorrow. You know, those, you know those automated responses when you send someone an email? Right. Well, I'm out of the office until tomorrow. You know, if you have any questions, please call my team member, blah, blah, blah. So now I text the guy and he starts giving me a hard time. That's not how I understood it. I'm like, wait a minute. We said we'd speak in the morning. I told you I wasn't going to book it until I was empty. Take me off the load. He goes, do me a favor. Don't call me anymore. I go, don't worry. I won't. He goes, good. You're blocked. Uh. Unbelievable. Like, I, I really, Jeff, Jeff, that's exactly how this thing went down. I didn't accept the load. I just can't, just can't, can't get it. You know, it's just, it just aggravated the crap out of me yesterday. Well, you know the rates are really good when you come out of New Jersey to Michigan for three nineteen a mile. New Jersey to Michigan? three nineteen a mile. Yeah, what, what, how many miles is that about? 626. 626. 2,000. Two grand for that? Yep, two grand. Yeah, that's pretty damn good, man. I'm going to have to come up there and say hello before it snows. See, like, like here's what you could do, right? People don't look at this. Yep. You could go 101 miles down to Edison, New Jersey. Yep. Take a 106-mile load back to Orange, Connecticut today, 1400 right. bucks. So you have 200 miles in it, so it knocks it from 1321 a mile down to $7 a mile. Fourteen hundred bucks. Where it picks up in Edison, it goes where? Orange, Connecticut. For how much? Fourteen hundred for one hundred six miles. Wow. And I'm stuck on this eight hundred and fifty dollar run. I'm getting wow. eight hundred and fifty bucks to go one hundred and twenty miles. That's not that bad. No, just posted. Uh, Chop Tank, North Brunswick, New Jersey to Capitol Heights, I'm Maryland, one hundred ninety four miles. I'm set. Two thousand one. Thousand one. So, wow. you know, that, there's money. Money on the East Coast. Now, 100%. let's go on down to uh, Jacksonville, Florida. And we'll use any date so we can see all the loads coming out of there rate per mile. And, yeah, still good loads out of there, you know, and going down in. I mean, you come out of uh, 138 miles, Vidalia, Georgia, North Carolina, 1150 bucks, three dollars a mile, 383 miles. The rates are good. The rates are good. Care. I mean, go back save up to the East Coast, January, 257 February. a mile out of there. Got to save your money for the winter. That's right. 
Now, let's see here. Now, let's go to, uh, let's get out of Jacksonville. And let's go over to Dallas. Dallas Fort Worth. 4000 dollars 386 a mile. McKinney, Texas to Ocala, Florida. There was a big Jeff, there was a big wreck this morning on, on the overnight on I-95 up at Bridgeport, Connecticut. Yeah. They had the whole thing shut down. I, I'm hoping it's open. Is it, any of you guys on there know if it's open or not? I don't know. You have to look it up. Uh look it up on uh on Google Maps, see if it's red line. I'm gonna have to do that. As soon as I get to that next stop, Ponza. Stack it like Ponzi. That's right. Stack the money. Get it while you can get it. Yeah, save it for the winter. You're going to need it. Because you know what goes up must come down. Do, 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 do. Let's see what else we got going. $1,600, Tennessee, Memphis, Fort Worth to Memphis, 331 a mile. So, you know, you know the freight's running good when you come out of Dallas for over $3 a mile. Right. You know it's going good. I mean, because it's $0.40 cents to $50 to a dollar a mile above the two-week average right now. Right. Yeah, when you look at that map, that load availability map they have on that yep. load board, everything is good. Like this little, there's a couple that aren't, but most of the country looks pretty good. Right. If you look at all trailer types which I'm bringing up, there's hardly very few red. Then you, then you can go in here and you can say, okay, let's see what the flatbed's doing. You look at flatbed, you know, and they got tons of green and yellow, uh, spotty red. <clears throat> and then you go down and click on reefer and look at the reefer trailers are doing. Pumpkins, they're doing pumpkins. And reefer's doing really well. Yep. And then you see the one of the best ones is the van trailer because you see the Mississippi's red, Oklahoma's red, and you got a bunch of red here in the middle on reefer. But then if you go to van trailer and you look at van and apply it to this map and you'll see that look at all the green, yellow through the middle and green up at the West coast and very few red states. Right. So you look at new England, it's, it's, uh, it's not that good, right? Like Massachusetts. Yeah, you got red up in yeah, yeah up in that area. But New York was good the other day when I looked at it. That's a great that's a great feature because you just kind of know which way to point you. Right. If you click on Massachusetts, then it's going to show you outbound loads. Boom, there they are. If you look at interstate loads, see that's another dynamic of this website. Yep. You can't beat it. I mean, no. you know, it's bam. It is a click of a button. Now you got the outbound and the interstate loads. Um, and it shows you automatically updated four minutes ago. Right. And I mean, the money's not bad. I mean, if you if you look no. at Massachusetts, Adams, Mass to New Jersey, 290 a mile, 600 bucks for being red. That, you know, red is still getting almost $3 a mile out of there. Adams, I think, is stone, too. I think it's the same thing. Mulch. Adams could be mulch. Right. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Mulch. See here, Lawrence Mass to Tully, New York, eight hundred dollars, two fifty one a mile, three nineteen, and he, that's even above the two week average, even though it's being red. Tully, Tully, Tully's Tully. Near Syracuse. And, and you probably, know, you could probably get a grand. Get something out of there. Something to get out of there. Right, but you could get a grand out of there. And if you look at profit calculator and want to know. Yeah, I did a beer tolls. run out of there. Anheuser Busch is up there. I did a beer run, forty five thousand. I got thirteen hundred back to Long Island, and I got detention because it took. Took too long to load me and unload me. That was my last trip up there. I took a mail run up there once too. That was a good game. Price as being prices of trailers, what do you think of about having a lift gate and extra options, or is it a null point? Well, it depends. You know, how many loads are you gonna pull that you need a lift gate? And two, is the lift gate gonna stop you um weight wise on some yeah, of the heavier yeah. loads that you're gonna make grocery. all your money? You might, uh, as well a, you might as well buy a pallet jack too if you're gonna buy a lift gate. Right. And never buy a trailer with a roll-up door if you're no. doing general freight because most places won't even load that. Um, it's too narrow. Well, it's grocery spec. I think they call hey, it. John Wayne, what's up? Thanks for the uh, the uh, super chat. And if you go to the website, Big Rig Radio Network, um, it's on there. 
right, if you want to contact me. BigRigRadioNetwork.com. Everything's on there that you would need to know. All right. So we're going to roll on out of there and click on this. And, you know, and that's what I like about it. You just go on here and you click on something, right? So if you want Oregon, just click on Oregon. It's going to show you the outbound. Um, you can sort it by rate per mile. And it's going to give you all this on this nice little card. Oregon to Washington, 313 miles, 1251, $4 a mile. Yeah. $4 a mile is nice. Yeah, and look at interstate, 15 miles, 500 bucks. 545 miles, 237 miles, 1200 bucks. Staying inside of uh, Oregon, 450 miles, 278 miles. So there you go. Click off that. It's going to be a nice fall. It's going to be a nice run up to the holidays. Nice run up to the holidays. Yep, save your money. Save your money. Yeah. Um, Snowboard, the metalhead Viking caveman trucker. <laughs> Snowman, Snow Lord's a metalhead? Yeah, you, you love this thing? So Snow Lord, the metalhead uh, yeah, Viking Cave Van Trucker says, Clyde, I would look into uh, ramps. However, I don't see a lot of specialized van loads on spot load boards. Uh, that's the direction I was going to go, but dot, 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 dot. <laughs> look at that picture. He's got the bike. Oh, that's, that's funny. That's I'll cool tell you stuff. what, I would, I'll tell you the truth. I think I would invest in a lift axle on a dry van before I got a ramp, uh, a gate, a lift gate. Well, lift axles are pretty cool. Yeah, they're pretty cool. But the problem with that is, you know, unless you're going to haul heavy, heavy weight and you're you're plated for that weight in all the states, right. it doesn't do you any good. Except if you have a if you have a two axle with the front being a lift axle, you can pull it up and That's right. you save get, on the tolls. Save on yeah, you save on a lot of stuff. Right. I mean, it's probably a five thousand dollar option at least. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I was thinking, what if my tandems were all the way up, and I was backing into a tight, tight spot, and I lifted my axle, my front axle up, and then I just pivoted on the one axle. I mean, that seems like it would make life a little easier backing in. You know me; I have a tough time backing in. Right. But the lift axle could definitely save you some money on tolls. I think I would invest in that before I got a lift gate. I had some lined up already where, you know, you know what? Lift gates are good for like local stuff. They can, right? Right. And then once again, need a pallet jack. <laughs> yeah, need a pallet jack. All right, so let's take a look at this. Uh, if I was on the East Coast, want to run uh, regional? I mean the West Coast. West Coast, I'm in California. I'm in Carlsbad. I'm going to go to Vista, California, Tucson, Arizona. $200, $200, 1989 is the profit per day. Three loads there. I'm going to click on that. Let's, we're doing a load planner here. Um, I can go to Utah there, or I can go back to California. Where do we want to go? We want to go to Utah? Or do we want to go to El Paso, Texas? I mean, if you look at the miles, um, yeah, let's go to Utah. Why not? And then we go back to Ontario for a cheap load. Uh, Ontario, California. Yeah, and then we're going to end it right there. And three loads, five days, forty-seven ninety-four. 1853 in the miles, 4794 in the revenue, 814 fuel, 3980 would be the net for those five days. And if we take off one of the loads. Net. net, five days, net. Yeah, now, now check this out. If we go and we just stay in Utah, right? We go to California, Utah, and we stop right there. Two loads, yeah. three days, 1200 miles, 4244 on the money, 3718 net. Tolls. $3,700 net in three days. West Coast. I like it. West Coast. 1100 a day. Can't beat that. I would do that two days a week and that's it. Keep this thing parked. <laughs> All right. So let's change this to uh, – 
Bronx, New York. Bronx. Ugh. Bronx, New York. Yeah, Big Face Trucker's out there, so let, let's help Big Face Trucker out. Big where is Face he? Where Trucker. Is he? where is he? He's, in, he's in New York, man. He's outside your house, man. Wait he should you go. go do that Edison yeah. loaded yet, Cole. If he's in the Bronx, he's 20 minutes from Edison with hey, no traffic. He's he's at your house waiting for you to come home and make him some beef jerky. Really? Yeah, make him, make him some beef jerky. Listen, I live on a very narrow, dead-end street. You ain't getting this rig up my block. You ain't getting it right. Why not? It ain't fit. Why not? <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe he's a better driver than me, but I can't. It's too narrow. It's a dead-end street. You, can't even, you have to back out onto a main road. No way. Or well, back in. Snorlord, the metalhead biking caveman trucker, says, I am glad my new name makes people smile. That is the intent. I like it. I like Darnell, it. what's up? Well, join in. Uh, let's see if this is the real Snorlord. Join in. There's the chat. Come on in. Let, let's see if that is the real Snorlord. You mean it could be a fake one? I don't know. All right, so here we go. Virginia, Virginia, we're going to go to Connecticut. Boom. Oh, it's me. I'm in Connecticut right now. Yeah, we're going to run the, We're going to run a load planner. Around your area, right there. All right, I'm in um, Stanford. I just went through Stanford, Connecticut, northbound 95. Look, we could go to Missouri. Too far. Let's go to uh, PA, Hanover Township. Yeah, there's good loads over there. Allentown, Hanover, and whole back to New York. Screen. And, uh, Let's see what we got. We got three loads, three days, 806 miles, 2895 on the revenue, 371 fuel, 142 tolls, 2382 net in three days on 800 miles. So that's still about $3 a mile. And that's what they're offering. Yeah. So you could get a little more out of them. Right. You could definitely cover your factoring fee. <laughs> Three percent, no problem. Get three percent out of them all day long. That's right. All right, so that's it for that. We've been on this too long. We're getting out of here. Yeah, right. All right, thanks for having me on. Hey, thanks for calling in to Trevino hey, Trucking. Trevino Trucking, I was looking out for you. I seen three thousand dollars <laughs> in your backyard. I mean, you could I see know. that place. I right? let you down, man. I let you down. I let everybody down. I let the I let the people watch it down. I let my family down, my truck. See, I could go in here and find loads, and I could put in here. Um, Williston, North Dakota, 150 miles. There's 19 loads. Go out 200 miles, you get 34 loads. 250, you get 58 loads. Let's see what they are. $3,100. Devil's Lake, North Dakota, to Webb City, Missouri. Hey, Devil's Lake. Where the hell is hey, that? Cascade Transport. Look at that. Three dollars and eleven cents. Flashers, North Dakota, to Newton, Kansas. Forty-five hundred to Waverly, New York. Three oh five a mile. I, I used to go out to Devil's Lake, North Dakota, once in a while. Um, look at the good freight coming out of the North Dakota. Holy smokes, like over two something a mile just to come back to, to Michigan. Into the heartland. You come right back into the Midwest for good money. Michigan Pure. Michigan, Michigan pure. pure, yeah. Michigan Pure. Yeah. Uh, man, Cameron Emil says, check this out. Man, one, two, three load board seems way better and user friendly than DAT. Seemingly pays better too. Well, you know what? Cameron, it's got more, features, Cameron, it's got for more sure. features for sure. For $35 with this code here. Let, let me give you the code. You can't afford not to have it. You can't afford not to have it. And here's what you do. You get the lowest version of that, and you get this one for $35 yeah. with all these features. Now you have two load boards in your toolbox. You don't need any more than that. And you're going to have it for like $75 total, right? Because that's what, 40 40 a month on the lowest side or 35 or 40, whatever it is. 40 bucks. Yeah, 40 bucks. So 75 bucks, you got two lower boards, you have all these features. Now look, they're going to give you their profit calculator. This all comes with it. 
you can play around with this, put stuff in, see what your net would be after fuel. If you had 20%, boom, there it is. Um, when you do the rate calculator, rate I, the other day, I was looking at the rate calculator, right? Yep. Your backhaul it, feature. It, it Hold you, on. Does it give you the, uh, the, um, the 15 day? Did it? Yeah, it does. Did I see that up there? It, it does. does. There you go. That wants you to upgrade, you know, on the, um, if you have the DAT board for the lowest price, whatever it is, 30, 40 bucks, whatever I'm paying, right? You don't right. get the 15, you get the 90, which I, you know, I, I that's a little bit of hype anyway, but but I with um, <coughs> with um, one two three you get it anyway with the lowest you know the lowest program the lowest uh, subscription. Right, and you know you got rate check here, so you can check a different lane if you want. Uh huh. You know you can hit the rate check button, and let's say uh, let's say you're in Stanwood, Michigan, and you want to go to uh, Columbus, Ohio. Right. You just type it in there, and if you're a van, you say get the rate. And it's going to give you the, the scale rate, right? So the highest is 581. The average is 264. The low is 134. And you can see it right here. Um, right now in September, they're up around the $6 mark. Uh, if you want to go switch that around, say Columbus back to Michigan, you just click that button. There it is, 389, 292, 248. Uh, if you want to see reefer, you just say reefer, get rate. And there's the reefer rate. And you can swap it around by just click of a button and you can see that rate. I mean, yeah, it's pretty good. Boom. But what, the, what you're paying, you get a lot of crap. You get a lot of stuff. Man. A lot of stuff, man. <clears throat> so that's your rate check. And here's your profit calculator. If you just want to mess around with this by itself, uh, you can upload your documents under my documents, mileage calculator. You can click on that. Uh, right. It'll do PC miler, routes, Google Maps, whatever you want to do. It stores, oh, yeah, all, it stores your companies store that you click that. on. Yeah. It'll store all your documents. They got a document storage thing. Uh, check. Fuel know. prices, FMCSA credit report, reefer rates. If you want reefer rates, this is what uh, Shadow Wolf would be looking at, right? Because he's a reefer guy. <clears throat> it gives you the fruit and vegetable truck report week ending Tuesday, September 29th. And it shows you the, added, the rates for all this stuff coming out of this area, going to these places. Shows you the rates, the average, the range. Right. If you want to cross the border, you want to see the rates. Okay, let me or the the wait times. I say, let me see the border times for the uh, the U.S. And this will come up. Say commercial vehicle. And you say Canadian border ports of entry. And let's say you go into the Buffalo Niagara Falls Lewiston Bridge. And here's your wait times, 30 minutes. Average wait time's 11. Right now they're at 30. So you can look ahead and see what your wait time's going to be. All the stuff in here, 35 bucks. Click on the dashboard and you have all the little icons here. Boo, 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 boo. There you go. And they're and, linked with Thunder. Right. And in the feed, they put a new news feed over here. So, you know, if you want to see anything on the news feed, you can just click on the news feed. Articles, um, you know, all this good stuff. Get paid faster. Click on that. Thunder funding. Bam. Look at Thunder funding. And you would call that number. 800-240-4140. Talk to Scott Kennedy or Willie Anders or anybody in there can help you out. Isn't that right? Empty or Trevino Trucking? Yeah, I love I love those guys. Empty Fuels, Trevino Trucking. Right. Yeah. They will. Scott they will. Kennedy anybody Scott in right. there, anybody that's phone can help you. Right. It's not like a big conglomerate bank. Quick too. They're really quick. Right. It's not like this huge bank where you, you got to talk to your guy and only your guy and, and you, nobody you else knows it. You don't go and, on like hold, press one if you want to do this, press two if you, someone picks up. Pretty good. And you want to know what? Your I, guy. I at, no problems anyway. Right, your guy at the other fund at the other funding companies, you know the big mega banks. They know zilch about trucking, zilch about brokering, none of that stuff. Thunder funding, the owners, the partners in there, they have it covered. Right, they have people in there that own trucking companies, they own brokerages, uh, they know about the insurance, all that stuff. So they can help you in a lot more, a lot of more ways than what you think. 
And they had a beauty contest. Did you uh, do your truck in the beauty contest? Me? No. Yeah. I'll show that maybe uh, on the next video. Yeah, yeah, that was, the pictures were pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, you see the picture? My truck's that nice. Through? I don't know. I ain't going to win any beauty contest. My truck's nice, but. All right, so I have to work to do. I have to get out of here. Me too.